Let's take a look at the charts. Ron William is a technical analyst at MIG Bank. Uh, nice to have you on board with us, Ron. You're taking a look at the U.S. non-farm payrolls number coming up uh, this week. What are your expectations and what does it look like on the boards for us? Well, it's, it's interesting just from a, a chart perspective to, to note that there's been a lot of momentum uh, each month uh, since uh, the beginning of 2012. And this has been very much pressured by uh, uh, an exhaustion signal that, that uh, started uh, back in January, a uh, DeMarc exhaustion signal that measures momentum, um, and uh, a multi-year ceiling um, uh, in and around 275 and 340,000. So just a, a key kind of upper ceiling um, on, on the figures. The important thing to keep in mind when, the, when these numbers come out um, uh, at the end of this week is there's a, a key downside level at, at 54,000, which is basically the 2011 low. The probability favors that we actually uh, continue to have uh, worse than expected uh, employment figures as this, as this deceleration continues to the downside. Um, and just, just out of interest, um, from the market expectations, I think the range is between 180 as a high figure and 75,000 as a low figure. Yes, which is a fairly wide range, isn't it? Uh, what does this all mean for the U.S. dollar? We've seen some of the risk assets bid up today taking the turn off the U.S. dollar, but is that trend going to continue? Well, I mean, uh, whichever way the uh, employment figures go, it, it's, uh, the, the U.S. Um, dollar appreciation um, is likely to continue, I think, uh, certainly over, over the next few weeks and, and perhaps the next few months. Uh, we've actually had a 5% gain in just three weeks, and that's just during the month of May when volatility uh, ticked up uh, higher after a lot of uh, deleveraging across risk-centric portfolios. So a, a lot of kind of safe haven flows moving back into the U.S. dollar as, as the flight to safety increased. Now, there's a probability of, of a, a healthy pullback from these kind of record net long positions that you can see there on the chart with uh, uh, of the CFTC um, liquidity flows. Um, but as I said, if we do get um, a continued negative employment numbers uh, into that uh, level I mentioned, the 54,000 level, um, then this would add further concerns of, uh, e about economic recovery and renewed uh, flight to safety. Keep in mind that the uh, EU contagion following the French and Greek elections already supports upside pressure on the US dollar. Um, and in terms of the euro dollar, which has a high weighting on the US dollar index, um, that would translate to um, potential moves into 120, 130 and 120 over the next few weeks. There's no doubt there's a whole range of negatives, whether you're trading Forex or equities. But if we can point to one positive, the S&P 500 last week was higher by 1.7%. I noticed the Dow Jones transportation average was also higher to the tune of um, 4 plus percent. This can be seen as somewhat of a leading indicator. What are you seeing on the S&P 500? the 1300 level, the base rate here? Do we track higher? Well, I totally agree with you. The, the uh, stock markets um, are uh, very much a, a leading um, uh, indication um, in the market. And, I mean, I, 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 we have had some consolidation after a, a very big setback, almost 10% from, from the uh, uh, most recent highs on the S&P 500. Um, the key level to keep in mind um, is 1282, 1248. Um, these symbolize the 200-day uh, moving average. Uh, which we're uh, likely to continue to mean revert to, and uh, 12.48 is actually uh, the 50% the retracement of the 2011 bull trend cycle. So once the S&P 500 actually hits 12.48, it basically means that it, uh, it would have lost half of what it made since um, the uh, bull trend began in, in uh, September 2011. One point to keep in mind is that if we get further um, U.S. dollar strength, um, this is going to add pressure to large cap stocks as they lose their export competitiveness and so we are likely to see further headwind on the S&P 500 in that scenario. Okay noted thank you so much for that Ron William technical analyst at MIG Bank.